we need to click here and select no TPM and no secure boot. Hello everybody, you are on Andrei Mihalovi channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create bootable USB drive with Windows 11 22H2 version. It is the latest version and after that you will be able to install it on any unsupported hardware. We're only going to use Windows 11 original ISO file and Rufus. That's all. Actually, this is very useful tip because you need to repeat this process only one time and voila! You will have a flash drive and you can use it to install Windows 11 on many unsupported hardwares. So, in my opinion, this is very convenient and reliable. Also, I want to remind you that I use only original ISO file from Microsoft official website and license window. We don't talking about Pirates Windows. And definitely, I don't appreciate tips like that. I'm only sharing my own experience how to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. First, you need to understand that you're trying to install an operating system that your device officially doesn't support. It's under your own risk. So guys, before this video start, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. So, let's get it started. For the beginning, we need to open our browser, in my case it's Google Chrome browser, then type next, Windows 11 and press enter. So here you may see Microsoft official website, click on it. As you can see, there is a new update, because previous there was Windows 21 H2 version and now there is available 22 H2 version. We need to scroll down a little bit. First of all, we need to download Windows 11 ISO file. Click here and select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO. After that, click on download. So, now we need to select the language that will suit you the best. For the example, I will select English. After that, click Confirm. Wait a few minutes. Now we able to download Windows 11 ISO file. Just click here and wait until it will download on your laptop or computer. As I previously said, here we see a different name of the ISO file, then 11.22h2 version and previous there was 21h2 version. Ok, after you download ISO file, we need to another time go to the browser and now you need to type next. Rufus Download and press enter. Here you may see link on the official website, but we need to click here on downloads. If you download a newer version of the Rufus, you will not be able to skip Windows 11 system requirements, for example TPM 2.0 and the specification of the processor. Be sure to select Rufus 3.18 version. As I previously said, I will select portable version, that's mean that this app will run as portable application. Click here and wait until the download process will begin. After we download Rufus, we can close this window and now you need to go to the folder where you download your Windows 11 ISO file and your program. Before I run Rufus 3.18, you need to insert your USB drive. Ok, I already installed my USB stick into the laptop and now I can run Rufus. Click on it. So now you may see this message, do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? Click no. In short, my laptop Dell E5470 runs on Windows 10 and I can use this method without any problem. But if you have Windows 7, this method will not work for you. Here I can select my USB drive, don't mind if you see this text. Bliss OS because previously I downloaded this operating system on my flash drive. The most important that we need to do right now is to select our ISO file. Click here on select. Now we need to go to the folder where we download our ISO file. In my case, it's downloads. Select and click open. 
now you may see image option we need to click here and select no tpm and no secure boot this is the most important option that help us to skip windows 11 system requirements click on it if your laptop support ufi you can just click start and you definitely don't need to change anything but if your laptop doesn't support ufi it supports legacy you can click here select this option after that your laptop will have two options to run your usb stick in legacy or ufi so this option will suit anyone after that click start it's not top secret information that all data and all file will be deleted from your usb stick click ok so guys now you need to wait until windows 11 22 h2 version will be installed on your usb stick and finally everything is ready we create a bootable usb drive with windows 11 22 h2 version and definitely i recommend to safely remove your flash drive for this we need to click here and select our usb stick and now you can remove your flash drive after that just install it into another laptop enter the bios and put your usb drive at the first place so guys if this video was useful for you please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot also on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos and i will be glad if you watch all of them Goodbye everyone, see you soon.